at uh, the VUI in 2011. Let me tell you uh, what's new. One is the gel point axis that we showed. Uh, the second is placement of the suprapubic tube that uh, Dr. Shal have showed. The only difference between what he does and what, I, uh, what we do is that we cinch uh, the suprapubic tube to the anterior abdominal wall at the end of the procedure when the pneumo is down and the incision is, uh, is closed. Uh, the third thing uh, that was new is uh, there's been a, a, a criticism of robotics that it is too new and that uh, we don't have uh, uh, oncologic uh, uh, outcomes uh, long term. Uh, a paper in European Urology looked at the first 1,400 patients that we had done with a minimum uh, five-year follow-up and showed that the oncologic outcome was not in, uh, was this is level one, it showed our oncological outcomes. Comparing it to open series would be level four evidence and I won't go that way. That way. Um, we also have a paper that's coming out that uh, looked at overall complication rates from day one to five years in uh, um, about 3,500 patients. Uh, we had reported on the first 1,500 patients earlier, so this was beyond our learning curve, and we showed what Dr. Patel showed, a less than 1% incidence of major complications uh, and uh, uh, about a 5% incidence of, of minor complications over a five-year period. Um, I alluded to the methods that we used. We used the NISQIP study. We uh, used claims data, so we had over 20,000 claims that were analyzed, and this is as, uh, as, as close to completion as we could get uh, for the data. Um, you can uh, email me uh, if you're interested in the details, and I'll tell you that. The one slide I wanted to show you was uh, an Excel slide um, of, uh, of patient preferences. So one clinic, uh, after having done 5,500 uh, robotic radical prostatectomies and about 1,200 open radical prostatectomies, I decided to ask patients why they came to Detroit. Um, and they told me their reasons. Uh, I collected the reasons, and then I uh, formed a, a group, um, Jim Peabody, um, Ram Gopal, there were two staff surgeons, uh, Andrea Simone, Felucia Ogun, Fiditimi, were uh, a physician extender, physician assistant, uh, and uh, a registered nurse, uh, uh, and we had two fellows and two chief residents. Uh, um, and we formed a questionnaire that we then um, administered to 100 patients. And these are the reasons, this is what patients considered important. Um, so, the first thing was cancer control. Uh, that had a score of 9.6 out of 10 in terms of importance. And cancer control in these patients was not defined as negative margins, but it was defined by the patients as an absence of biochemical recurrence. The second thing, this I expected, the second thing that the patients considered important was the absence of major complications and these were uh, Clavian 4 or 5 uh, complications. That had a score of 8.42 with a standard deviation of 1.47. The third thing that they considered important was uh, an absence of total incontinence. Stress incontinence was acceptable to many of these patients. Uh, the score was 7.82. Uh, and what is colored here are the people who considered a stress in at the absence of total incontinence as in the top five priorities. Uh, for this patient, um, the uh, uh, part of stress incontinence was not acceptable, neither was it for these patients. So I could, in theory, create a personalized treatment preference um, uh, report. What's important for patient number 23 is not what's important for patient number 13. Uh, and we've done this in about 100 patients. The most important five things that came up were cancer control, absence of major complications, uh, absence of total incontinence. They wanted at least partial erections. Uh, they were okay with taking AIDS, uh, but total impotence was not acceptable. Then uh, it was perfect continence. These patients would not accept uh, uh, even uh, stress incontinence. 
so this is ongoing. Uh, we will follow these patients and see how their priorities change. Uh, but in uh, the age of uh, template medicine, uh, this is uh, personalized medicine at the VUI, and this is something that's new. Thank you. Mm -hmm.